Good morning. Good morning. From a beautiful sunny Monaco with perfect temperature and you know only a few local people hanging out and that's the kind of Monaco we like. Yes. So beautiful day unfortunately Yanni's leaving to London Fashion Week here in a couple hours but before that I think we have some time today at least. Two hours. Two hours. Not enough, but we're going to start the day with a couple photos because everyone likes a morning photo, especially Yanni, because it's her work and she needs photos every single day. So I think we're going to crush it right over there. I think here, look at this, with the flare. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, super nice. Let's go down to the car. Oh yeah, okay, more. You have the key? Yep. Okay. And George. George has not been picked up yet. And, no. and Yanni wants to shoot a photo with the stars inside. Because we haven't done it. No, I know. So before he goes. Love the Monaco parking garages. The world's most efficient photo team is now out and rocking Rolls Royce photo no. shoot. Oh, no. Can't you just put that on? AC, hello. Ah, oh, me jag skulle tagit. Okay, let's go. But ha I'm happy with work. photos? Super happy. If she's happy, it means that I'm happy. But I would say that today, it, it's like the first day I slept well in so long. So I'm just excited. I got up early, started editing, like, you know. No, but generally, I'm having a great morning. I have not been sleeping like at all for the last three days. So to get nine hours of sleep today, I feel like Superman, like a true Superman. I know, really good. So another coffee and then it's time to just keep crushing. Lots of things to do. And then we have to be able to hug it out as well. Yeah. Big truck. Bonjour. Here. I think here is super. So you know every time a big truck shows up that has a big carrying space in the back, you know it's going to be a good day when they race the end of the truck and you find this. This is going to be our means of transportation for the next couple days because we're going to the Lamborghini factory uh, in two days. And they told me like, hey instead of flying there why don't you uh, just drive this thing? And I'm like, sounds like a good plan to me. I have not had enough Lamborghini time lately so I'm happy that this is about to change. Kind of some crazy weather in Monaco today. It's like sunny, rainy, cold, warm, and now it's warm again. So a bit of background story on why this thing is getting delivered is because I got invited to the Lamborghini factory for the launch of a new Roger Dubois watch. And you know, I, I don't do many collaborations, but you know, when Lamborghini and Roger Dubois calls you up, then you know, it's a good thing. So drive this to the Lambo factory and look at a new watch. And I've never been to the factory, so. I think it could be a, a good first visit. You know, maybe ask about some coming models, a new SUV or, you know, just, or just look at beautiful cars. Because with it, I also got this box and it was hand delivered by two guys and I had to sign to get it. So I'm really curious what's inside of this one, but we're gonna wait with that until we're home again, even though I hate waiting. I think we're about to get a taste of the sound. A cold hurricane never disappoints. Not many cars sound like that stock. I feel like a child again. I'm like, as soon as there's something new that you haven't been in it for a while, it's like, I'm sure Benny might think this is okay as well. Oh, hello. The watch gets the red shotgun together with the papers. Love this interior. It's kind of hard to uh, get in a car when you're alone and get some sort of <laughs> driving shots. <laughs> but we'll have to do more of that later. Step one is to just get this thing home and open the watch. That's what I'm like really curious about because it's a, a watch that has not been shown yet. So. so I couldn't look it up online to see what it is. But when it gets hand delivered by two guys and you sign a lot of documents for it, mm, then you know it's a pretty nice watch. Perfect. Thank you. Ciao. Oh. If you're wondering why I'm like a little jittery, it's because never ever did I think that I would get an invite from the Lamborghini factory where they're like, hey, we'll give you a Lambo so you can come drive and check out the factory and be a part of the launch for the new Roger Dubois watch. Like, it still feels a bit unreal. 
But now we're gonna go home. Oh, I missed the hurricane. But since Yanni is like in fashion week month, um, I think it's, it's kind of perfect because then this is all me and Benny cruising through the Italian Audubon or Italian highways to the Lamborghini factory. All right, I'm gonna put this thing down now and actually focus on driving. This is a really bad plan vlogging like this, um, but such is life sometimes. Oh, selfie vlogging. With packages, tight parking spaces, and picking up a car, it's not ideal. Are you ready? I'm ready. But the question is, we have a dilemma. Lamborghini or Rolls Royce? I say Rolls Royce. <laughs> okay, that's pre probably good that you said because the Lambo would be tight with all your luggage. I don't have that much this time though. I, I just want, I thought it was really funny that you had both, so I just wanted to shoot that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the rolls. The okay, last, I'll last see you in a bit, Lambo. Okay, let's go. On y va, madame. On y va. Green you know? weather today. Yes. I was Bomber. gonna say, you remember how much I read on the comments when you were doing the haul that I got like an incredible amount of hate for liking or disliking. Yeah, I know you said that. What, did I get a hit yesterday? No, I, I was gonna say that I love this uh, trench coat. Oh. Like, that is not high heels or like sexy but it's like I really like it. Everything doesn't have to be sexy, you know? Yeah, I, I feel like I got really misunderstood. Yeah. Like a hoodie looks so good on you. It's just <laughs> some weird stuff. I'm so happy that it's not delivered yet so that we can take her. Him. George. Not, George is not a her. Are you ready? I have to go. Yeah, I'm gonna come with you. Ah, oh, nice. Of course, honey. You know me. Hold on, gotta lock the car. I always forget. George, locked and ready to go. You feeling ready? Yes. Just like we were here three seconds ago. Is this only by so I guess this is it. We're breaking up. No more. What? No. You didn't tell me that. No. It is it for us for a day or two. So enjoy, uh, so she's going London, Milan. Milan, Monaco, Cannes, Paris in like a week. A week and a half. Puss. Puss. Puss, puss. Puss, puss. All right, let's go find Benny and uh, make some magic. Welcome to my place. Again. El Ortega. <laughs> yes. You know you're at the Ortega house when you hear the nice sound of the uh, fountain and like... The nature and... The smell of the good coffee no. and food. Oh yes. So the plan was just to pick up Benny and then go, but then of course there's some good ben Benny parents food and coffee yes. and stuff. So Always. now we're gonna head back and get some more stuff done because we have some exciting, we have a lot of boxes now, actually. Yeah, a lot. So I say we start rolling towards Monaco and keep crushing. We're gonna keep this real short, not a douchebag product, um, promotion video. But here is the new all black color. Before there were some gray details and everything, now 100% black. Yes. And the new rubber logo. So refinement, but it makes a huge difference. Carry all? Oh, that's the carry all. Same as in. Whoa, the carry all in black is crazy. <laughs> it's all yours. Small carry on in black. Whoa. But here is uh, 
Something uh, new, something a lot of people have been asking about since I was playing around with this in Japan and Canada. The main idea behind this backpack is that I've always needed a backpack that's technical and that you use for skiing or hiking and stuff like this. But all those backpacks, they all look so super freaking mountain climber stuff. So I wanted to create a bag that was like, you know, a little more street looking, but still had all the technicalities of a technical back. Quick, mm -hmm. super quick run through. You have the hooks here for snowboards or skateboards, jackets or whatever you want to touch here. In the back here, open, you have your shovel and probe and avalanche uh, pocket, little mesh pocket here. In the back, main compartment for your power bars, your uh, cold Red Bulls, uh, or whatever it is you want to put in there. So you have mesh pocket on each side to keep organized. And then, you know, a little guy here. And then at the top, I love good top pockets are important. Chest strap is something that I think is very important to have, but I hate when this is like flying around. Ah. A hook like that, you slide it down. Nice, like that. it doesn't like come off. So now that's not flying around. And then you have your, your waist strap. Good to have this and also good to have so now you are ready to like do whatever extreme sport that you want to do. So then we have one dilemma is that this is like a very clean backpack when it comes to like sport packs. But I would still not love to go to the airport like this. So we uh, made the solution that no you way. can remove. And then you, you should put it um, in the outside pocket because otherwise you're going to lose it like I do. I'm such a terrible like product demo, demo guy. Let me put something in it so you can see what it actually looks like. Um, Turn around. Yes. So yeah, we were fitting laptops in here. Yeah. And it's actually like, that was kind of the idea. A bag that you can, that you know you're not gonna need when you're out skiing, but that you can also travel with. So I, I like it a lot. It's called the Explorer and you can ski, snowboard, take it hiking, go to the beach, whatever you wanna do or go to a meeting. You have anything else? Oh, green. Yeah, but I'm... That's it. Enough of this. I know we did this last video, so we're gonna cut this real short, um, but I, it's like you work on it for like a year and a half. You can't say anything, and then when you get him, I don't want to be the you know, guy that is... But... But it's something else yes. that we should have a look at. I've seen this. It's look. this little box guy. With an alarm, or what's this? Uh, so when I got it, I didn't know really anything about it, um, because there wasn't any details out. But I have now um, gotten more information that tomorrow, Roger Dubois and Lamborghini announces their partnership. So this watch is a watch uh, in collaboration with Lamborghini. This little guy is not cheap, but this is like it's three, four good. times more. Three, four times more. And so that's the reason that we're going to Lamborghini tomorrow. Are you ready? Oh, Dubuis. Dubuis. Yes. Thank you for <laughs> helping a dumb sweet out. Wow, that is looking mighty. Put it on. See you Ciao, soon, AP. AP. <laughs> Maybe one day when I want to wear something cheap, I'll wear that. <laughs> Does this come with a bodyguard? I think I read in the brief that there was a lot of carbon fiber. Like this? You don't feel it? No, this is like way heavier. No, I love it. Like when you see all this weird, awesome... <laughs> You think they'll let us keep it? I hope so. <laughs> want to try it? <laughs> it's not often that you can try this. I just want to look inside now. Aventador. So this way. Oh, I feel more my bracelet than this. Hello, my name is Roger Dubuis. <laughs> it is unreal. Does it feel like, like, it... what's up? I'm like monster vlog producer, Mr. Ortega. Yes, I am. Coming to Lamborghini events tomorrow, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I've always said that a watch over a hundred grand is a scary watch, but hey, I'm gonna rock it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Cars are meant to be driven, and watches are meant to be used. It's it's a good day. Oh yeah, it always. A, a Lambo, new douchebags. Uh, new watch. The Maltese Falcon is chilling out there uh, outside. Oh yeah. Hello, Maltese. We're like becoming a real brand with like new things and like, they're pretty freaking good. Yes. <laughs> I hear some click, click, click. What are you doing? Wow. I'm making myself short here. Like I started out, so like, oh, I feel so a little thick here. So I started, so I didn't remove anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you just listed the whole place. Wow. What do you think? But how can you get behind? Okay, so you go like that. And then you get a that's how you get your fingers. Yeah, and then you gotta feel how far from uh, your head you are. Yeah. And when there's longer parts, 
See, there's a longer part. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Um, there's no logical explanation why I don't go to a hairdresser. Looks good. Looks way better than before. I just see the front, so it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know why I don't go to a hairdresser. It's just like, nah, it feels annoying to book it. And then I'll just like, no, I need a haircut. Yeah, because you want it now. So now, I want it. Do you want one too? No, it's okay. I'm really good at cutting off ponytails. No, no, no. Can you give me the keys? Missy Ortega, you'll have to wait for tomorrow to no, rock no, this thing. No, 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 I want to sleep in it. No. <laughs> Benny refuses to leave this seat. It says to show the keys and then you can start it up, but I don't have the keys. Tomorrow morning, my no, friend. No, no, then no, no. we'll do a lot of playing. No. Okay. Now we should just say goodnight. We have oh, a long yeah. day ahead of us. Yeah. Okay, so let's make it super short so we can be tomorrow and I can drive it. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>